up for around here for rivers and lakes. We had folks paddling some of the high alpine lakes in this boat earlier, and then today again on the river. I have it in the IXP layup. I love the Phoenix in this layup. Uh, that It is a solid core. There's no foam in this boat. IXP just is river, river worthy. It's good around this lava rock. It can take a hit. You can pull it up on shore. It's got that real flexible resin. So if it takes a strong hit, you're not going to see the resins lighten up. I like to order my personal Phoenixes with the aluminum trim. And the reason why is for a minimal uh, upcharge, I can get the whitewater eyelets in it. And then that allows me to put a daisy chain here and a daisy chain under the front thwart. And I just have a really fast lacing setup already done by the factory. I put these in and I put one up in the ends and I can put bags in this boat to make it river worthy or even open water so that I could recover if I had a capsize in open water. I always get my Phoenixes, which is standard in the higher kneeling position. And of all the solos, this boat probably has the most depth under you from North Star. So if kneeling is kind of hard for you, this might be the easiest one to do that. I have Cook Custom Sewing Saddlebag, my padded seat on here as well. And uh, just a really fun canoe. It is 14 foot six, symmetrical rocker, two and a half, two and a half has that high shouldered flare. So if you want to start playing with edge turns, it just really goes all the way to the edge like this. If you're new to solo canoeing and you're not sure if you're gonna do rivers or lakes and you want that durability, the Phoenix and IXP might be a nice choice. Uh, just one of my favorite boats to always have in the quiver.